Happy Monday, Greg and Tarpins. Thank you so much for joining us in today's morning announcements. I hope everyone had a great weekend and you're rested and you are ready to tackle on the last few weeks of school. All right. Yeah, that's right. The end of the school year is quickly approaching, but we still have a lot of learning left to do. So at this time, I would like to invite everyone to please join me for our pledges. All right, everyone, please make sure your right hand is over your heart, and here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. At this time, we'll begin our moment of silence. All right, everyone, you may have a seat. All right, everyone, you may go ahead and have a seat. Teachers, just a reminder, this is as per Mr. Jaime Hernandez, the cafeteria manager. We are not in the National School Lunch Program right now. Currently, we are in the Summer Feeding Program, which is why we're doing curbside, and which is why he is asking that all students who are present, so all the kids that are here, they must receive their meal. They must go get the, their their meal in their on their desk with with everything the 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 juice the the milk the fruit whatever it is that comes in the meal they need to receive it and boys and girls if you don't want it that's okay but you still need to get it it needs to come out of that ice chest and you can either throw it away or you can give it away okay so uh, teachers please please make sure that nothing is being sent back to the cafeteria if the student is present. Now, the student is absent. Let's say you have two students that are absent, then two whole um, lunches or breakfasts must be returned, okay? And also, if you have any questions, please go see Mr. Jaime in the cafeteria. He explains everything very well, and he will be more than happy to answer any questions for you. So thank you so much in uh, helping us and helping out our cafeteria staff in all of this. Um, something else, boys and girls, I did go check on the restrooms today and I took a little video that I will be showing you shortly. Thank you so much for not doing anything mischievous in there. Remember, we're there, take care of business and then to get out. Um, also for lunch on Monday, yum, or today, barbecue baked chicken. So yum, there's a chicken for today and tamales for tomorrow. Remember, you need to eat something. So if you don't like that, if you don't want to eat that, make sure you bring something from home. And here is a vid video that I took earlier today. Thank you so much for helping us keep our restroom areas clean and safe. And a special shout out goes out to Miss Costilla for capturing this awesome moment. Thank you, Miss Chelsea Perdomo, for taking the time and spreading a little kindness around our school. That's right, boys and girls. Miss Chelsea is only in first grade, and here she is. She knew that her friend in her class was not able to play because um, he has a cast in his, on his arm, on his hand, and there she is. She decided, you know what? I'm gonna take some time from my, my recess time and I'm gonna go sit down with him and have a little talk and kinda cheer him up and that is what kindness is all about. Thank you, Chelsea, and I hope um, other students learn from you. And teachers, if you do catch any students doing any acts of kindness, please, if you if you are able to take a picture and send it my way, I will definitely include them in the morning announcements. Thank you. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us in Monday's morning announcements. I hope everyone has a great week. Please continue working hard because remember, we have fun Fridays. Every Friday, we have something fun. I saw several classes 
playing bingo on Friday. I hope you had fun. And so this Friday, we're going to organize something else for you guys. Um, but again, if you are not turning in your work throughout the week, be careful. You might get asked by your teachers to stay back and finish your work. Okay, so be proactive, not reactive. Not at the last minute trying to finish up what you didn't do all week. Okay, so work hard every day so that you can have fun at the end of the week. All right, take care. We'll see you soon.